let's talk about absorption in direct band gap semiconductors. So the absorption is proportional to the joint density of states. It's also proportional to the fact that we find an electron in the valence band and a hole in the conduction band. So if I write down an expression for the conduction band, assuming parabolic bands, I would write down EC is equal to EG plus H bar squared K squared over 2 M star E, where this is the mass of an electron. And we can also um, write that EV is equal to minus H bar squared K squared over 2 M star H, which is the effective mass of the hole in the valence band. So now we can write down the energy that a photon needs in order to make this transition. It's going to be H bar omega C comma V, and this is essentially just going to be the difference of these two energies, EC minus EV. And this is going to be equal to EG plus H bar squared K squared over 2, and then 1 over ME star plus 1 over MH star. So now we can write down an expression for the joint density of states. The joint density of states, because remember, once we have the E versus K, it's very easy for us to calculate the density of states. So G of H bar omega, we'll first take the easy case. It equals 0 when my energy of my photon is less than EG. Okay, but when I have the more interesting case where it's greater than EG, then this is equal to 1 over 2 pi, and then m e star m h star over m e star plus m h star. And this is 2 to the 3 halves over h bar cubed, and then h bar omega minus eg to the 1 half. So you can see that the absorption, the expression we have for the absorption is very similar to what we have for the joint density of states. This is for, again, a direct band gap semiconductor.